Hey. Hey, Nate. Hi, honey. Oh, hi. I've been trying to get a hold of you. Are you okay? Yeah, of course. What do you mean? Well, you know the news. There's been all that flooding. Maybe going to Malaysia during the monsoon season wasn't such a good idea. Yeah, right. Right, yeah, it, uh, it grounded us for sure. You know, had some equipment failure, but you know, no one's hurt or anything. Well, as long as you guys are safe. So are you gonna start work tomorrow? Uh, postponed, actually. Uh, looks like we're gonna need maybe another 10 days or so. Ugh, 10 days? Hey, well, I, why don't I just uh, go ahead and buy a ticket then? Oh, uh, you know, you don't have to do that. It's fine. I mean, you know, these guys always overestimate things. So I'm sure it'll be less time than that. Okay, well, you know, don't rush. Make sure that you're safe. Oh, I will. Always do. Uh, listen, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I gotta go. Jameson's calling me over. Okay. I love you. Love you, too. What are the satellites saying, Victor? Right now, not a goddamn thing. I lost the signal. Hey, you know what never loses signal? Paper. All right, this route right here should take us straight to the volcano. Might get a little bumpy, though. Let's get the show on the road. Okay. All right. So, what are we looking for out here? The map shows all these structures around the volcano. Some abandoned outposts, a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Yeah, Avery was the most wanted man in the world. So if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. And one of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. Fingers crossed. see some ruins up ahead. Wait here. I'll go take a look. I mean, I bet you have all sorts of options to get rid of hot cargo now. Yeah, sure, but I prefer talking to clients face to face. Get a good read on them. Hard to do that in a chat room talking to some guy named Antiquity Master 37. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <laughs> huh. Not much to see here. Ah, nothing worthwhile. Come on, let's keep going. Okay, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is gonna erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest four by Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time, kid. Uh, this looks promising. Come on, come on, baby. Uh, let's go, 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 go. Made it. Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. Right, just keep, keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going. Ah! We're good. 
Hold, everything's good. Look, tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Hey, look up there on the hill. Got a tower or something. Now we're talking. Victor, what were you arguing with the rental guy about? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. Going off-road, it might rain, might be muddy. But with Nate being so eager, he doubled the price. He would have doubled it anyway. How about we go through this whole goddamn thing and never use that winch? Take this slow, kid. Yeah. So, Nathan, you're thinking Avery, too, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because why exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in on him. Sure. Maybe uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. Check out that tower. I'll come with. It's in pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. There's definitely ruins from Avery's era. Huh. Bark stripped away. 
Something was wrapped around this tree. Sam, look. That's Christopher Condon's sigil. He's uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to what be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. Whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. came with a winch? No, really? I didn't know. What you gonna do with it? Not sure yet. <clears throat> there. I know how to do it. Ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. <laughs> See, Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine, you've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. Ha, <laughs> poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. Taking forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor. Patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Sam. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing sailing to a former squid. The point is, we got it pretty easy. Yeah. Well, it's still taking a long time. Hey, Nathan, check out that cave there. All right, one sec. Hey, you see something?
Let's roll. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, shit! Stop! Stop! I see him. What do we got? Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? That's the good news. That means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight to them. Oh, shit. We do have the drop on them. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead.
Spitz inbound. Okay, I think that's it. God damn it. Rafe and Nadine must have dozens of guys out here. They, they could just stumble onto the treasure through blind luck. Jesus, these pirates really need to work on their infrastructure. Now how do we get out of here?
One down, one to go. Again with the winch, Sully. Pretty handy, right? I wasn't against getting the winch. I was against getting ripped off. Shit, shit, shit. Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than Ray? Now, that's not how she operates. She's more of a money up front kind of mercenary. The rape's got the advantage there. Look, shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. Singing the same damn thing. 